Hey, what's up, Virgo? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing a reading on you and the person on your mind. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Let me fix my microphone. Okay, there we go. Let's see the energy between Virgo and the person on their mind. Keep in mind that these are general readings. If it doesn't resonate, that's fine. It doesn't have to. And if it does, and if you enjoy it and want a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box below for my website information. Okay. Let's not do all that this morning. Okay. What's coming in for Virgo? Not what's coming in. What's going on with Virgo and the energy on their mind? Virgo and the person on their mind. You'll be dealing with an Aries. Mm, there's a lot of changes coming up in your love life. Nine of Pentacles might be where you're at right now. So I see kind of a single vibe. Um, what you don't see coming, Seven of Swords. Ooh, somebody's sneaky. <laughs> it could be that or it could be planning. Um, Nine of Pentacles is your current energy. So that tells me that you're in a place where you're single or focused on yourself, focused on your finances. Your energy is a Six of Cups. You're also focused on family. There's a lot to do with family right now. The person on your mind, they're the emperor. So they're probably showing you or trying to show you how strong they are by being very firm. I feel like they're being very firm. They could be, they could be hard-headed right now, but we'll clarify that in a second. The energy between you is the queen of pentacles. There's a lot of nurturing here in some form or fashion, maybe from both of you, because your intentions is the fool and their intentions is the two of cups. So this is good energy. What's blocking is the star. That as blocking might be um, lack of growth. I feel like there might be um, reconciliation here, maybe with somebody else with the star crossing or someone else being in the mix. We'll see. It doesn't have to be. Their intentions is a two of cups. So there's love here on their side. Your intentions is a fool. So you want to jump all in. Your actions will be the chariot. So that is creating some distance. Their action is a judgment. The judgment. <laughs> their action is judgment. So making a decision. Maybe when you create this distance, they decide to wake up. The wheel as your outcome. Let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the six of cups. For your energy. I feel like you're not telling this person that you might see them in that way, that you want something new here, you want something stable, and I don't feel like you say too much to this person about it because you're not really sure how it's going to manifest, but you definitely keep that close to you. There is something about you keeping that close to you, you wanting a new beginning here and not really letting the other person know. Kind of like that energy. I don't know how this is going to happen, but I feel like it's going to happen. <laughs> the emperor. Ah. This person is putting on a front that he knows what he wants, probably, you know, but to be honest with you, or they could be a father, um, not your father, they could have kids. Um, this person has been hurt in the past, so they're not really sure. 
what they want to do. They're not sure. It's almost like they don't know how to choose happiness. Let me see the two of cups. Yeah. They're a little bit scared. They're a little bit scared, but they there's intent there's definitely attraction here and there's intentions on working something out with you. I feel like you guys might be friends. Um and if you're not friends, this person is willing to work on this like in a friendship way at least starting off, but there is a lot of attraction here and I feel like they're kind of intimidated by you in a way. Let me see the fool. Hmm. Okay. So you do have intentions of working something out because you have a lot of emotions for this person. However, you're also maybe not speaking to this person, even though there is intentions here, your energy is going towards this person, but very much choosing to not speak, choosing to create distance. Choosing to make sure that you keep your emotions to yourself for the moment, even though there's a lot. I see you wanting something new here, but choosing with the devil there, you are making that decision and you're very hard headed at it. Like, no, I'm keeping my emotions to myself. That's it. I'm not going to talk to this person until I don't know, until whatever criteria you set for yourself to finally start talking to this person. But I see you purposely holding back communication and emotions. Let me clarify the chariot. Yeah, I see um, some distance being created. And you missing this person. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I see you trying to make changes. I see you trying to make changes in this connection. You're trying to shake up the energy. I see you trying to um, make something move, make something change by doing this and kind of withdrawing yourself. I see you getting sad. I see you being sad. I do. You're going to feel a little bit like that I make the wrong choice. And I don't think you did. We'll see right now in a second with the judgment here for them. The judgment again, okay? So I just see them waiting. It's almost like not knowing where to go. There's a lot of conflict within this person. They're not sure what to choose. There's just a lot of uncertainty. And to be honest with you, I can see why you're sad. I feel like you see potential in this person with all these cards on this side and the way that your feelings are displayed. There's a lot of potential, but they're not making moves towards you. They're so unsure that if you don't pull your energy back and create some distance, you're not going to be able to see through the fog of someone who does want to make intentions towards you. So definitely you're doing what you need to do for yourself. Let's see the wheel of fortune here as your outcome. I see you focused on your finances. I don't see you focusing on love coming up. I'm not saying that this is done and over with because I don't see it that way. This isn't finished. This is going to come back around. There's no cards of definite ending here. So I see this coming back around. But for the meantime, I don't see you paying any attention to it. I see you thinking about it, but really focused on your finances. There's something here about you needing to um, get back in a better financial place with these cards. 
And that's what your focus is at this time, Virgo. So that is what I have for you. Let's see some advice. Any advice for Virgo? For right now, it's okay to have your guard up. I feel like you have a lot of things to achieve at the moment that you have. You might have a little list of things that you need to do. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do that. There's something about you knowing what you need to do and going after those things and not really pursuing this at the moment, giving it a chance to rest with the chariot being there, the wheel being there. There's changes happening that you don't see. And right now you need to focus on your goals. There's a lot of I have goals and I know how to reach them. So I'm seeing you kind of isolating yourself in a way, but really to focus on your goals, not to not to be in a sour mood or anything. You're really, you know, that nine of pentacles is important. So that's what I see. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, if you did hit like, and if you're new, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye Virgo.